What's up YouTube? Welcome to Mix Solutions. I'm Dylan and in this video we're going to be removing the Sun Visor airbag sticker to achieve that Euro look without spending hundreds of dollars on an authentic one. This can be achieved by a couple items that you may already have laying around the house and can be done to any vehicle that has this airbag sticker, either cloth or leather. Let's go ahead and get to the items that you'll be needing for today. So these are the items you'll be needing to remove the Sun Visor airbag sticker. Grab yourself some paper towels, some isopropyl alcohol, preferably 91% or higher, 70% will not work. And this is preference, some gloves, just because we'll be dealing with the alcohol and then also removing the sticker and glue from the sun visor, a T20 Torx bit, a pry tool, a pick, and a nylon brush or non-abrasive brush just to remove any of the excess glue or sticker that may be left behind on the sun visor. All right, so first you're gonna grab your pry tool to remove this cap that exposes the T20 Torx screw. Doesn't need much pressure. It's pretty easy to remove. Go ahead and grab your T20 Torx bit. Go ahead and close this so it's like if you're about to snap it back in place. Go ahead and tilt back towards you and then pry out nice and slowly and that'll expose your power cable. Then you wanna grab your uh, pick tool and that'll be the way you'll remove the power, power connection. All right, so that's the driver's side removed. Let's go ahead and move to the passenger side. All right, so we'll be doing this, the same thing as we did on the driver's side to the passenger side. Remember to close it, act like you're closing it, pry towards you, and then pull forward. Just be careful while you're doing it. Because there's a tight hook right here that kind of hooks on to the top, and that's how it hooks in place. And then you can go ahead and slide this piece out like that. And then use your pick tool to push down in this little hole right here. And then pry out. So now that we have both the driver and passenger side sun visors removed, we'll go ahead and grab two paper towels, your isopropyl alcohol, and then your gloves as well. So we'll first, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the area and start spraying the isopropyl alcohol on top of the sun visor sticker. And then go ahead and lay this paper towel on top and begin to soak it again as well. You want to get a nice generous amount on there so we can have it sit for about three to five minutes or longer. But first we're going to try three to five minutes. All right, and then we'll go ahead and just smooth it out. And then go ahead and spray some more on top. I'm going to put as much as I feel like just because I want to make sure that this comes off in one good peel or try our best to make sure you just rub it on there just to remove any air bubbles that may be under it so now i'm just going to let this sit for about three to five minutes and then we'll see how it looks after all right so I'm, after checking i'm just going to keep it uh, sitting here for a little bit longer uh, just to make sure that we can actually get this sticker off without any problems it still seems that it was a little tough getting it off so i'm going to let this sit just for a couple more minutes and then uh, we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it comes off. All right, so we tried uh, after five minutes and checked it. Um, still felt like it wasn't ready yet, so I went ahead and sprayed a little bit more and let it sit a little bit longer. So now we're going to go ahead and peel one off and start the peeling process. Yeah, I see this one's going to be a tad bit of a pain. All right, so this is where we're gonna start using the nylon brush or a non-adhesive brush, just so we can start working this up. I've tried peeling it back with my fingernail, but it uh, seems like it's not really doing good enough, so I'm gonna start using this. This should not do any damage, since it's just a nylon brush. All right, so I'm gonna let this one just sit a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and test out this one. This one seems to be coming off a lot easier. So I'll let that one over there sit a little bit longer. 
and I'm leaving the paper towel on the back just so we don't let it dry out so it, it get easier just in case we see if it gets easier as we work our way down um, but yeah this one's definitely going a lot easier I wonder if we use this oh man, this takes it right off oh shoot Look at that, yeah, so the nylon brush helps out a lot. So I'll go ahead and start using, once you're noticing that you're peeling it off pretty good with your fingernail, I'll go ahead and start using the nylon brush and working it off. We're gonna go ahead and speed through this one. Sprayed a little bit on there after I scraped it all off and take a microfiber and just kind of clean off the access so we can kind of see where we're at. This is looking pretty good. We just got this little bit right here and we'll remove that as well. You can kind of see the outline just a tad bit. But while you're inside the car, you're most likely not gonna see it. Use my nylon brush to kind of work in these creases where some of those stickers kind of got worked into. All right, so that's the first one. That's looking really good. Let's go ahead and start on the second one. Oh yeah. So after letting it sit for longer than five minutes while I was working on one, I advise to keep that paper towel on there so it can keep on soaking up so you get the easiest removal. Yeah, definitely use this nylon brush. Helped out a lot. All right, so that's how they're looking so far. You do see a little outline still, but that's gonna happen for the age of the vehicle. You know, if, if it was more of a newer car, it'd probably work the best, but for a 2016, not too bad. And really, to be honest with you, while you're inside the vehicle, you're not gonna see this. It's gonna be too dark in there to see, and you'd really have to look hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my area and then get these protected. All right, so now that we got the labels removed, we're gonna go ahead and protect it down. Any of the items I'm using today will also be in the bio. If you have any questions about what I'm using, just go ahead and uh, reach out to me. All right, so this is the finished product. Um, they look fantastic, I couldn't complain. You're gonna see a little bit of the outline, like I mentioned, but other than that, these came out very well. So let's go ahead and get them installed and see what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and reinstall our driver's side sun visor. First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you clip this power cable back in, make sure it's a little snug, and then tuck that cable back in there. And then tilt towards you and hook. And it'll hook in place, and then tilt it back. Then we can expose where we uh, screw it back in. so much better. Oh man, love it. You want to repeat the same steps. Go ahead and connect your power cable. Wait till it clips in, make sure you check it, then guide your power cable up. And remember, tilt the visor towards you, let it hook, push it back forward, and then turn. And it should sit just like that. Oh man. It just changed the whole interior. So much cleaner, so much cleaner. All right, so we got both the sun visors back installed and it turned out very well. Couldn't be any happier. I'll no longer have this bright yellow sticker sitting in my face. And if I forget to put the sun visor back up while taking a photo or video, I'll no longer run into that issue. Like I said, this can be done on any vehicle with a sun visor sticker, cloth or leather. If you have any questions about the DIY, Leave it in the comment section. Also, any tools that I use during this video will be in the bio. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.